Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Hyundai Santa Fe guys. You have engine light on and you have any of the following codes. I'm talking about code P0075, code P0076 or code P0077 guys. Stay with us, we'll explain what can cause any of these codes and how to fix it guys. It's not very complicated once you know what to do. Most of the times it's three things that can cause that thing and 90% uh, of the time will be that and you hope it's not the last case because it will require a lot of work so make sure to stand till the end and you will exp we will explain what we are talking about now the engine is out of the car but you don't need to remove that simply we removed it because we'll be making a bunch of videos that will save you guys thousands of dollars if you have a Hyundai Santa Fe so this should work on Hyundai Santa Fe generation 2013 all the way to year 2016 guys with a 2.4 GDI engine. Now let me introduce you to the channel quick. Every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least 2 to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart, we show you how to fix practically anything guys. Why we do all that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. This engine, okay, will be completely taken apart, transmission will show you how to fix almost anything on it another thing if you need to buy any parts or tools guys okay check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all the tools and parts from for a really good price and quick shipping as well that's where we get all our supplies from so this right here okay this is the engine and uh, before we start let me tell you guys if you have a Hyundai with a 2.4 GDI engine or other cars check our main channel how to repair guys we have helped more than 110 million people guys we have information that can save you time thousands of dollars so let's start on it now so this specifically guys it's a uh, it's an engine out of a 2013 Hyundai the 2.4 GDI uh, now before we start with the codes okay many of you guys constantly ask me in the comment section below which computer we use for diagnostics so we decided to share with you and I'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get the computer that we use on a daily basis this is it guys it's amazing you can check the link and it will explain more about it but it works on almost any car you can think of and there is right here and it can pay itself off in one time use so check out the system that it supports and all the cool functions that it has so i'll put the link guys below for your convenience what you need to do guys you need to remove the upper engine cover grab and pull it okay you will have four bushings that attach to these posts right here the moment you remove it your engine is exposed what you need to locate now is the intake side of the engine that's where the engine gets its air from so follow the air filter box air filter hose comes to the intake manifold this is the intake side that means that the intake camshaft will be on this side and the exhaust camshaft will be on the opposite side and that's where the exhaust manifold is located as well what do we need to look for guys okay these codes relate to intake variable timing solenoid you have one solenoid that advances and retards the valves on okay for the intake camshaft and if you look right here okay this is it right here guys that's the device checking it out guys what you need to do that's known as a vvt solenoid or variable timing solenoid first you need to make sure that the wiring harness is plugged in all the way make sure it's all the way in make sure it's not contaminated with oil if you have an oil leak from the valve cover okay it can actually contaminate the connector and that can lead to a, a weak signal and get colds number two sometimes the solenoids when they fail they can start pumping oil inside we've seen that happen as well not very often though uh, another thing check the wires make sure they're not broken make sure they're plugged in make sure that they're not eaten by mice or anything like that guys number three most likely what's the cause okay we have everything loose here so we can remove it uh, but if you want to see how to remove or replace vvt solenoid on the intake side we have the video on the channel most of the times will be that solenoid guys either faulty solenoid or dirty solenoid i would say seven or eight uh, times of ten guys if you clean them that will fix your problem because they uh, they get dirty and they start sticking you can see the film okay that screen actually it's pretty pretty dirty itself and when they start sticking they are not very responsive that can lead to the codes and we have a special video that explains how to test and clean vvt solenoid on a hyundai santa fe so please guys please check it out now let's say you clean it it doesn't solve the problem then you go to the next step you replace it with a new one and you still get that code okay what what could be the problem a mechanical problem with the engine or it could be even jump timing in some cases or it could be problems with the 
uh, with actually the actuator wheel which is attached to the uh, to the intake camshaft you hope that's not the case because you have to open the whole engine uh, remove the the timing chain to replace it all that stuff and that could get really expensive but we'll have the video on the channel if you need to do that hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you next time